how to speed up a video on the iPad. I'm going to give you guys three different options here. First of all, we're going to speed up a video with iMovie. The advantage here clearly is that iMovie is actually a pre-installed application on your iPad. The disadvantage is though it's not very easy to use and it comes with certain limitations. Then I'm also going to show you how to do this in two different softwares, namely CapCut and DaVinci Resolve. You can download both of these apps for free from the App Store. My personal favorite of these three is definitely DaVinci Resolve because even the free version of DaVinci Resolve has an incredible amount of features that you can use and the software itself is just absolutely amazing and in my opinion far better than the two other apps combined. But let us start with iMovie now. First of all, open up iMovie. You should find that app somewhere in your apps. If you can't find it, you can always go to the App Store and then download iMovie from there. Once you have located iMovie, simply tap on it to open it up. Then at the bottom here, you can tap on Start New Project. After that, you want to choose Movie. You can then go and import your video footage. If you have the video on your iPad, you will most likely find it here under Video. So we will tap on that. And in my case, we're going to use this chess video here. So I tap on that and then tap here on the check mark. And to import it for good, at the bottom, tap on Create Movie. Once you have imported your video to iMovie to speed it up, you can simply tap on the video clip here. And once it is selected, at the bottom, go to Speed and tap on it. You can then adjust the speed slider here. The regular speed is 1x, so if you want to increase the speed, move it to the right. I have put the speed to 2x here, so this doubles up the speed of the video. Unfortunately, in iMovie you can't make it faster than 2x. If you would like to make your video even faster though, make sure to continue watching this video, because with the second and third method that I'm going to present to you, you can easily speed up your video footage much more. Let's have a quick look at the video clip now. And yeah, that's actually pretty fast, right? So once you're done speeding up your clip, you can then export it. To export it in the upper left corner of the screen, you can just tap on done. And then here at the bottom, tap on this icon here in the middle. And now choose share video, even if you just want to save the video. This is not intuitive at all, but believe me, if you export the project, it's most probably not gonna work for you. So we tap here on share video. And then we can choose save video here. Tap on it. And this will export your video to your photo library. So you now have to speed it up video on your iPad. Let's go back to the home screen. And from here to verify that everything worked as expected, we're going to open up the Photos app here. So I just tap on that. And as you can see here, we have our video here in the Photos app. And it's just 5 seconds long and the version that I imported before was 10 seconds. So we successfully increased the speed by a factor of 2x. So this was method number 1 to speed up a video on the iPad. Now, if you either would like to speed up your video more than just 2x, or if you're looking for a more advanced video editing software, then you should go with option number 2 that I'm giving you here. And that is CapCut. This software doesn't come pre-installed on your iPad, so we have to head over to the App Store and download it from there. So we will have a look for the App Store. In my case, it is situated here, so I'll tap on it to open it up. And then on top in the search field, you can just search for CapCut. Tap once in the search field and type CapCut. Then you can either tap here on search or you can also tap here on this search result. And here we have the CapCut video editor that we are looking for. In my case, I have already installed this software. This is why it's saying open here and not get. In your case, it will just say get here. So you can then tap on that and then download the CapCut software. Once you downloaded the software, you can either open it up from here or you can go back to your home screen and then browse through your apps and have a look for the CapCut app there. So here we have it, so I will tap on it to open it up. Okay, we're going to tap here on agree and continue. I'm going to allow notifications as well, but you can also tap here and not allow, it doesn't really matter. Actually, we don't need to do this kind of stuff for the moment, so we can just tap here on skip in the upper right corner of the screen. I don't want this app to track anything at all, so I'll simply tap here on ask app not to track. Okay, once that is done, at the bottom here, we will go to edit, just tap on it. And then on top here, we can start a new project. So we tap on new project. I'm going to give full access here because we have our photos and videos in the photo library. So allow full access. And you can then choose the video that you would like to speed up. So once again, I'm going to open up this chess video here. So I'll just select the first one. And then in the lower right corner of the screen, I tap on add. Okay, I made the screen a little bit bigger so that you guys can see better. And now here in the timeline to speed up the clip, let's do the following. First of all, we tap on our clip here. And then here at the bottom, we are going to choose Speed. Once you've done that, tap on Normal here. 
and you can then use this slider here to speed up your video on the iPad. And the cool thing here now is that you can actually speed it up up to 100x, which means you can make your video up to 100 times faster than it currently is. So as you can see here, in comparison with iMovie, we have much more flexibility and can make our videos incredibly fast if wanted. So let's say this time we would like to make our video five times faster. So we will just tap and drag here and put it to 5x. Now click on the play button here to preview the video. Oh yeah, that's definitely very, very fast, right? So if you're satisfied with that, in the lower right corner of the screen, tap on the checkmark icon. Before we export it, we now have one more thing to do, and that is we need to delete the watermark that has been added to the end of our video. This happens because we are using the free version of CapCut, but don't worry, we can get rid of it for good, and you can safely export your video with the new speed completely for free. So in the timeline here, make sure that the section with the watermark is selected. In our case, it's this section here. So I will tap on it, and this will highlight the watermark portion of our video. To delete that section now, at the bottom, you can simply tap on delete. And just like that, we remove the watermark from our video. We are now ready to export our footage, and we can do that by tapping here on the up arrow in the upper right corner of the screen. This was actually extremely quick, and the video has now been saved to our device. So to finish that up, all we need to do is to tap on done here in the upper right corner of the screen. Now let us go back to the home screen of our iPad. And now let's open up the Photos app. And as you can see, we have our video now here. It's just one second long because at the beginning it was five seconds long and then we changed the speed to 5x, which made it five times faster. So obviously the end result is going to be a one second video. And this is how you speed up a video on CapCut on the iPad. Now last but not least, let us have a look at how to speed up a video in DaVinci Resolve. First of all, we need to download DaVinci Resolve. So once again, we will go to the App Store. Just tap on the App Store icon to open it up. Make sure that search is selected here at the bottom, and then tap on the search field here on top. I'm just gonna delete this cap cut here, and we're going to search for DaVinci Resolve for iPad. Then you can either just tap here, or you can also tap here on search on the keyboard to confirm. And sure enough, you find DaVinci Resolve for iPad here. And as I have already downloaded the software, once again, it says open here. In your case, if you don't have it yet, it will say get. So you can just tap on get then. And this will start the download and the installation of DaVinci Resolve for iPad. This download might take a while because you have to download almost four gigabytes. And once the download and the installation is done, you can either open it up from here, or you can go back to your home screen and then browse through your apps. And you should be able to find the DaVinci Resolve app. Once located, tap on it to open it up. Now to import your video, make sure that media here in the upper left corner of the screen is selected. After that, tap here on where it says import media. Then locate the video file on your iPad. This time we're going to use some other video here just for fun, but you can import any kind of video into DaVinci Resolve because DaVinci Resolve is really a professional video editing software. So don't worry. So I'm just going to import this watercolor video here by simply tapping on it. And once you see the check mark here, you can tap on open in the upper right corner of the screen. As far as the frame rate goes, if you just open up a single video, you can tap on change here. And our video is now imported to DaVinci Resolve. Great. But why don't we see anything? Well, this is because our video for the moment is only inserted here into the project window, but we have to click and drag it onto the timeline for us to actually see the video and be able to edit it. So we tap and drag this video and simply put it here onto the timeline. Once in the timeline, you will finally see your video here in the preview window as well. Great. And if you press here on play, you can play the video. Lovely. Now to speed up the video, long tap on your video. This will actually bring up this menu here, and you can then tap on speed here. And you will then see these two options here. The first option here on the left side says 1. This means that our video now is at the regular speed, which is 1x. On the right side here, you see the total length of the video, which currently is 45 seconds. Now to speed up the video, double tap on the speed button here. This will bring up this menu here, and let's say you would like to make the video three times faster, then you would tap here on three. If you would like to make it five times faster, tap on five. If you want to make it 20 times faster, tap two followed by zero. I guess you get the idea. So in my case, I would say I just want to make it four times faster, so I'll tap here on four. And then to confirm, we will tap here on enter. As you can see now, our video is now just about 11 seconds long. So we successfully 4x'd the speed. You can then press this button here to go to the very beginning of the video. 
you might need to tap on it twice. Once you're at the very beginning of the video, you can then tap here on the play button to preview your radio. And this looks indeed extremely fast, so everything works as expected. Great. This is actually a watercolor set that I crafted for Etsy, just in case someone is interested in art. Now that we have that out of our way, all that is left for us to do is to actually export this video. And to do so, we can tap on export in the upper right corner of the screen. Then here on the left side you can choose some preset. Usually you want to go with H264 here, so I'll just leave it like that. Here you can also see the resolution of your project and some other fancy stuff like the frame rate, for example. Once you're happy with these settings, simply tap on export here and you're done. Well, I should say almost done, because here we also have to set the location where we would like to save this video. So I'm just going to choose on my iPad here to save this video locally on my iPad. And once that is done, the final step is to tap on save here in the upper right corner. And this is how you speed up a video in DaVinci Resolve on the iPad. Wow, that was so much to cover, right? But you got it. Congratulations. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to my channel for more iPad tutorials. Bye.